pretty early start for me, but for a very good reason. I'm in the VIP personal shopping entrance of Selfridges, and I'm here to do a come shopping with me for a very good cause and with one of my all-time girl crushes. She hasn't arrived yet. But I thought what I would do is I'd create a vlog of the day behind the scenes. Emma Guns is also doing a podcast um, with her, my celebrity guest. And I want to show you around. So let's do some behind the scenes. First of all, look at this. Straight through the door from the car park. <gasps> Selfridges personal shopping. It's like I've died and gone to heaven. Oh my goodness. Now I know what it's like to be a VIP. Look how beautiful it is. You all know Selfridges is my favourite store anyway. Anyway, I'm here to meet. No surprise. It's October. Elizabeth Hurley. We're going to do a special come shopping with me. As I said, Emma Guns is going to do a podcast. I'm, so I'm here to meet the Estee Lauder team and Elizabeth. Mary Greenwell's doing her makeup, so you'll get to meet her. Sam and Nick are coming to the event. It's going to be a really big deal. But more importantly, we're going to create some brilliant content for a brilliant cause. So I've just finished filming with Elizabeth and obviously I'll have dropped that in. This is a very special come shopping with me. I'm in Selfridges, my favourite place. It's before the stores even open and there's a reason and that's because I'm here to meet a very special person. Come with me. Film on the escalators. So we are going down into the beauty world of Selfridges. I am here to meet my favourite all-time beauty ambassador. She is the queen of breast cancer awareness. She has worked with Estee Lauder for over 20 years. The campaign's been going for 27 years. They've raised 65 million pounds, over half a billion dollars for research. Do you know who I'm talking about? She's also about to become a Marvel villainess. What's not to love? She's smart, she's sassy, she's absolutely brilliant. Come beauty shopping with me, with the wonderful Elizabeth Hurley. Let's go and find her. She'll be on counter at Estee Lauder, who started the campaign, obviously, and we're going to pick all of our favourite pink beauty buys. Somewhere around here. It's my favourite beauty house. Ladies and gentlemen, Elizabeth, we're going to do some beauty shopping. Yes, you bet. Thank you so much for this, I really appreciate it. Pleasure. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the campaign, the history of the campaign, but also we're going to have a quick beauty shopping while we're doing it. Excellent. Yes. So, you've been with the campaign for 20 years, for 24 years, and I was just saying that it's raised £65 million for BCRF and half a billion dollars for research. It has, yeah. That's incredible. Yeah, in the 27 years since Evelyn Ball has started the campaign in 1982. And tell me about your personal connection to Evelyn. Well, I started working with the company in 1995. Straight away, Evelyn um, asked me if I can have done the campaign. She just started. And I said, of course, we'll visit. And she said, breast cancer. I want to raise funds for awareness. And I said, oh, of course, but why? And she said, women all over the world dying of breast cancer and no one's doing it. Now we think about the Pink River as being ubiquitous. It's all entirely Evelyn Lauder's idea. And every year, the Estee Lauder companies have specific pink beauty buys. We're going to go around and choose some. What's your favourite from the current Estee Lauder collection? Well, I'll just point you in this direction. Yes. <laughs> Well, we have what's called a pink ribbon collection, which means that every year, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, the Estee Lauder companies come up with a product that they package specially for breast cancer, and a, a, a proportion, in some cases, 100% of the retail goes straight to the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. So this is actually my favourite product I've ever used in my life. What's the it's the first the ever Me too. Used. Me too. <laughs> right at the beginning. It's the first and, and it's unbeatable. I don't think anyone's ever beaten it. So, this is new packaging, especially for October, and it's the pink version of Advanced Night Repair, and a portion of this retail goes to the BCRF. Yes. And it's a great serum anyway. So if you buy it anyway, buy it now. Stop number two, we're going to Bobby Brown. Now, right here, little bird top, you don't want to get a chance. 
to go shopping in public. I do. It's true. It's true. I get most of my products sent to me when it comes out of the press, like you do, I'm sure. I try to try. So it's, it's very rare that I get to wander around a beauty block. So here we are in Selfridges. Before it's even open. Before it's open. So we've done a salon order. I've looked at Erin and I've been called Brown. So what Bobby Brown have done is they've done a pack of two power pink lipsticks. Yeah, and, and, and Bobby Brown lipsticks are fantastic. Yeah. I mean, I always use their foundation too, but um, these are beautiful. So you get some of these beautiful pink colours. They're quite pale. They're gorgeous. And every and five pounds from the purchase of this will go straight to the research foundation. And also they're giving out pink ribbons. So you'll see everybody that's on the counter that's selling, not just in Selfridges, this is globally, who's involved in yesterday all the counters, sorry, having delivery of new pink products here in the background, will be wearing either one of these pink ribbons or the little satin. And do you want to know how many free pink ribbons S Royal Couples have given away? Of course I do. More than 167 million. And I think it's important here to say that, and I think this is is a massively important message is it's the Estee Lauder companies and Evelyn in particular who set up this entire movement. We think of the pink ribbon as being ubiquitous, but actually it was Evelyn and the Estee Lauder companies who were actually really original. They did, they did not the idea of the pink ribbon, they were inspired by the AIDS activists yes. who had a red ribbon. And she just said, no one wants to do anything for these women who are dying of breast cancer. So they came up with the idea of the pink ribbon. And you're right, it is man that's but it wasn't. So when we were teenagers, there was no breast cancer awareness month. There was no pink ribbon. Nobody talked about breast cancer. No magazines talked about breast cancer. Nobody would have been on television telling women to check their breasts. You wouldn't have been standing in a beauty hall no. with your products to raise money for breast cancer. A lot of this is due to the breast cancer campaign started by the lovely, lovely elite. Where are we going next, Elizabeth? Well, I don't know. We put the world is our Now we're on Capital Topic. What do you mean? That is dramatically different moisturiser. It was the first moisturiser I stitched up to buy for my first expensive product. So this always means a lot to me. And this is a special part of it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Added to it. So what we've got here is we've got the Super Size DDNL. As we know in the industry. Sorry. I didn't dramatically know that. different moisture lotion. That's such a beauty editorism, it really is. And then it's got a keychain that you can, even when you finish the products, you can use and it can just remind you to raise awareness, raise funds, and to check yourself. And we're going to talk a little bit about checking yourself at the end of this. So, I'll take it. The lady from the I'll take it. We're going to my handbag. But... sell more products. The next slot is for Jo Blow. They have an iconic fragrance called Red Roses, and there's a special edition just for October. This is the special Jo Malone Red Roses, specially produced for the Pink Ribbon campaign. Most, uh, part of the retail will go to Breast Cancer Research Foundation. And if you don't know the fragrance, oh, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful classic rose, but not a powdery rose. It's almost as if they took the entire rose bush of all the green and its soil and clear blooms and blossoms. It's an absolute classic. If you're going to buy a fragrance for any woman in your life, they will adore it. October is the month to buy And finally, Creme de la Mer. Rather. 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 I wish I said that first. <laughs> so we're going to finish with on Creme de la Mer. I happen to know between you and I that Elizabeth is quite a fan of Creme de la Mer. Who isn't? Of course I am. And here we have the treatment lotion in a special bottle for Breast Cancer Awareness Month and 20% of this retail price will be straight to the Breast Cancer Research and Foundation. So it's a great time to treat yourself and do good. Now, I want to uh, bring your attention to this because it's not just about raising money, although that's incredibly important. It's about raising awareness that we should all be checking ourselves. And these leaflets are going to be handed out on all of the counters from all of the Estee Lauder companies throughout the month of October. If I can find a link, which I'm sure I will, to online as well, I'll also put that in so that you can, you can actually check all the details. Why is it important to check ourselves? Well, the number of rounds don't normally start for women until they're 40. Breast tissue is sort of dense. And so it's 15. 
So the only way, really, that you're going to find a lump is by finding it yourself, or if you go for a yearly exam at your doctor's. So what we recommend is that girls from the age of puberty start to familiarise themselves with their own breasts, so that if you can notice if there's any change. And I have met many, many women under the age of puberty who found lumps themselves. Sometimes they're putting their bra on and think, oh, something feels a bit strange here. They found a lump and they go to their doctor and have it verified. So you need to know your own risks. And I think the important conversation to have here is that, as Elizabeth said at the beginning, 24 years ago when Elizabeth started funding this campaign, and I think personally she's hugely responsible for raising awareness of this, is that this conversation would not be had in public. It's nothing to be embarrassed about, it's nothing to be ashamed about. We should be talking about it with our mothers, with our sisters, with our cousins, with our partners, with our loved ones. The only way you are going to save lives is by raising funds, raising awareness, and by honestly and openly having this conversation and checking with yourself regularly. And for that, you have to think, be incredible, be incomparable. I've got a bit of girl rush. In this book, thank you so much. Thank you for having me, and uh, thank you for letting me have the chance to talk to the ladies who care about sport. Always, you are without a doubt the smartest, funniest, best beauty ambassador I've ever encountered in 30 years. And I mean that. I'm going to put all the details, all the products down below, where you can find them, and also where you can pick up this leaf. Because this leaf won't honestly be safe lives. And now I'm going in for a big Thank you. Okay, I just want to <coughs> quickly introduce you to somebody here. Elizabeth is important, right? But so is Mary Greenwell. Mary Greenwell and I have known each other even longer than Elizabeth and I have known each other. True. Now, I've got to go. You, she's got to go. Okay, I love Elizabeth. You so Elizabeth looks beautiful because Mary did her makeup. I've got to go back to work. I love you all. She's not I responsible mean... for this. Look at her, look how gorgeous she is. Look at that tiny little body. She's an icon, an absolute icon. I'm going to take you with me through the whole day, don't worry. Part two of my day with Elizabeth Hurley. I'm at Estee Lauder's headquarters. Oh, it's very windy. And uh, she's going to do a live podcast with Emma Guns, um, uh, who's our mate, obviously. And also, we've got quite a few friends turning up, so let's go in and have a look. The whole building at Estee Lauder UK has been branded for breast cancer awareness. All of the products we talked about earlier. In fact, there are other products here. Look, there's Becca products and the Origins product as well, which I really like. That's 100% of uh, profits for that. Darfan, there's a Darfan Intral as well. There you go, all the products, some Glam Glow. And then the ribbon. Look who just turned up. It's only the spa slag. <laughs> I've got another spa for you, wagon. <gasps> what more could you want from a best mate? <laughs> so here we are backstage. PLC HQ. Look at my bumping. And a bottle's in the house. But more importantly, Emma Gaines is about to host the podcast in front of anybody who's anybody in the beauty industry. No pressure. And we're so no pressure. No pressure. <laughs> Look how gorgeous she is in pink. I'm going to film a bit of it for you, or at least take some pictures. Am I? I'm not allowed. Who says so? She's here. Hi. Nice to see you. She's here. She's tan. She's gorgeous. Mm, got the pink ribbon on. Mm. I'm so ready for this. I'm so ready for Emma's podcast. The only upsetting thing about Emma's podcast is I hear you won't be doing it naked. Listen, because you do asked, like to get naked. I do like to get naked. I like to flash the body off, but it, um, we agreed that it wasn't right for today. So that's why I'm wearing clothes. So you'll be checking yourself, but just in public. Yeah, no, not, wearing, not wearing any knickers. <laughs> nice that you've joined us here today. I hope you'll learn something from our panel and I just want to say a mass massive thank you to people working in the media because when Evelyn started this campaign um, in 1992 it was a completely different world. 
there was no pink ribbon, no breast cancer awareness month, nobody spoke about breast cancer, and nobody really knew anything about breast cancer. Evelyn Lauder and her campaign, which I've been a part of for the last 24 years, has been a very important part in really changing the way the world thinks about breast cancer. Um, it's impossible now for people born before that time to imagine a world without the pink ribbon, but I was definitely in that time when we didn't know about it, and when Evelyn asked me to help her with her campaign, when I joined the Estee Lauder companies in 1995, she told me that she started this campaign called the Breast Cancer Campaign, and she started a research foundation to fund research into breast cancer. And when I asked her why, she said, because women all over the world are dying and no one is talking about it, which is what I want to change. Now, she did change that. <laughs> my spa slack, I love my spa slack. Uh, Santorini will be going up in a couple of weeks, by the way. I can't wait. Watch this one with her gorgeous little firm bottom getting in and out of those, of those horse spots. The spit spritzy comfort. Oh my God, yeah, I don't think it did anything, but you know. Well, you haven't got any cellulite, and like me. Yeah.